Hello, I'm Hannah. Hello, I'm Bob. And we are Kitchen Zoo. This week's story is Hansel and Gretel. And it goes a bit like this. Once upon a time, next to a great forest, lived a poor woodcutter and his family, his wife and two children. The boy's name was Hansel, and the girl's name was Gretel. They were so poor, they had very little to eat, and when a great famine came to the land, the woodcutter could no longer feed his family. What are we to do? said the poor woodcutter to his wife as his tummy grumbled. I know what we'll do, she said. Tomorrow morning we shall take Hansel and Gretel deep into the forest, the darkest part. We'll light a small fire for them and then we'll go off and do our work and leave them there. They'll never find their way back home. We couldn't, said the woodcutter. Our own children? We can't leave them in the forest. What about the bears or wolves? They'll be eaten. You fool, said his wife. If they stay here, all four of us will starve. Eventually, with a heavy heart, the woodcutter agreed. Hansel and Gretel, who had heard the whole thing, hatched a plan. When the woodcutter and his wife were asleep, they crept down to the darkened house and took the last piece of bread. Hansel hid it in his pocket. They both tried to sleep, but they were so hungry, their tummies growling kept them awake all night. Early the next morning, Hansel and Gretel were awoken by their mother and father and were walked deep into the dark forest. Hansel, who still had the last piece of bread in his pocket, broke it into crumbs when no one was looking and threw the crumbs on the ground. Little by little, Hansel dropped all the crumbs onto the path. Their mother and father took them deeper into the woods than they had ever been in their whole life. They lit a fire and their mother said, Hansel, Gretel, wait here. We are going into the forest to cut wood. We will come back when we are finished. Hansel and Gretel waited and waited but they knew their mother and father weren't coming back. They waited until it was dark, until the moon came up, so by the silvery moonbeams they'd be able to see the breadcrumbs Hansel had left as a trail back to their house. But they looked, and looked, and no breadcrumbs could be seen. Not one crumb! they gone? puzzled Gretel. Then they heard a cackle, a squawk and a rustle of feathers. They looked up to the branches of a tree above them to see a magpie laughing at them, a magpie full of breadcrumbs. Hansel and Gretel walked the whole night trying to find their way home. They walked all the next day too, but they were so hungry and so tired they could hardly tell which way they were going, and ventured deeper and deeper into the dark forest. Just when it seemed hopeless, a ray of sunlight shone through the treetops on a little house not far off. As Hansel and Gretel grew closer, they noticed it was no ordinary house. It was made of gingerbread, with a roof made of cake and windows made of clear sugar, all finished in a very appetising way with icing and sweets. They were so hungry they couldn't help themselves and ran towards the house and started to eat it. 
Hansel had a piece of roof and Gretel had a bit of the gingerbread wall and it was all so good and they were going back for more when suddenly the door opened and a very old woman hobbled out. They were frightened and tried to apologise when the old woman said, Oh dear children, who brought you here? Just come inside and stay with me. No harm will come of you. She led them into her house and sat them down at a table groaning with delicious food. And when they couldn't eat a morsel more, she made them two very comfy beds, which they were only too happy to fall into and snooze away. Hansel and Gretel thought they were in heaven. Of course, it was too good to be true. The old woman wasn't kind at all. She was a wicked witch who had been waiting for some children to cook and eat. As Hansel and Gretel slept, the witch cackled to herself. When Hansel woke up in the morning, he found himself not in the comfy bed he had fallen peacefully asleep in, but in a cage in the kitchen. The cage was dirty and littered with bones. Hansel could hear the old woman ordering Gretel to stop being so lazy. Fetch some water and cook something to feed your brother with. He needs to be fattened up. Yes, fattened up. And when he is, I am going to eat him. <laughs> Gretel began to cry, but it was no good. She had to do what the Wicked Witch demanded. Now, Hansel was given the best things to eat every day. But Gretel received nothing but scraps. Every morning, the old witch crept out to the cage and shouted, Hansel, stick out your finger so I can see if you are fat yet. But Hansel stuck out a little bone he found on the floor of the cage, and the old witch, who had bad eyesight, could not see the bone and thought it was Hansel's finger. And she wondered why didn't get fat. Weeks and weeks passed, and when Hansel was still thin, impatience overcame the witch, and she could wait no longer. Oi, Gretel! she shouted to the girl. Hurry up and fetch some water. Whether Hansel is fat or thin, tomorrow I am going to cook him. The next morning, Gretel had to get up early to fetch some water and make a fire in the oven. The old witch, because she was so wicked, had decided she was going to eat Gretel too, and planned to trap her in the oven. As the flames leapt higher and higher, the witch turned to Gretel and said, Climb in and see if it's hot enough. But Gretel was far cleverer than that, and saw what the witch had in mind. So she said, How can I get inside? Silly girl! Useless girl! The opening is big enough! See, I myself could get in! And she crawled up and stuck her head into the oven. Just then, Gretel gave her a shove, and the old witch fell in. Quick as a flash, Gretel closed the iron door of the oven and secured it with a bar. The old woman began to howl frightfully. Gretel ran straight to Hansel, unlocked the cage, and cried, Hansel, we're saved. The old witch is dead. Hansel leapt out, and they both jumped with joy. In every corner of the witch's house were chests of gold and pearls and precious stones. Hansel and Gretel filled their pockets. 
They set off for home as fast as they could, only too eager to leave the witchy woods. This time, however, luck was on their side, and they set off in the right direction. And although it took a long time, they were pleased to see their old home appear in the distance, and their father, the woodcutter, run out to greet them. Their mother was gone, and their father was starving. Hansel and Gretel emptied their pockets to show him the riches they had taken from the wicked witch's house. We're rich now, father. We'll never be hungry again. And with that, they all lived happily ever after. The end. That was Hansel and Gretel. What was your favourite part of the story? Maybe you could draw a picture of your favourite part and send it to us on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram at Kitchen Zoo. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>